Hi guys! Welcome to the Penna Vlogs. I'm Bianca Magsina. And for today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm gonna share to you my January favorites. So I know kakagawa ko lang ng best makeup of 2019. So if hindi nyo pa nakikita yon, then go check that out. And I can't believe January is ending. Already super bilis ng panahon. But anyway, I have this brown basket that I filled up with the things that I've been loving for the month of January. Ulit ulit. First thing that I have here is this peach puff. I forgot yung name nito, pero lalagay ko na lang here kasi natapon ko na yung box. And I got this from Taiwan, so I don't know how can I repurchase this. Anyway, it's so cute. Ayun siya. Super laki niya, guys. Ayun o. And ang dali niyang mag-blend ng foundation kasi nga super laki niya. And then this one I use for concealer, ganyan, ganyan. And also for contour, ganyan. Kasi lagi kong ginagamit yung BLK. And then, whenever I use cream blushes, ito din yung ginagamit ko. So, super ganda niya, super laki niya, and super soft niya, ayun o. And hindi siya masyadong nag-retain ng, ng super daming water, which I like, pero super bouncy niya pa din. So, ayun, and ayun, ang sarap niyang gamitin. And ang dali niyang hugasan, hindi siya katulad ng real techniques na, oh my god, super hirap hugasan, kaya nabubwisit ako. But anyway, let's move on. Then, I have this e.l.f. brush. I'm not sure if they sell this separately, pero I got this as a set nung Christmas. So, ayan yung itsura niya. It's a retractable powder brush that I love bringing with me whenever I go out. For powder, I have this one. This is the Misha Seboom Cut Powder Pack in the shade Clear Peach. Number 2 Clear Peach. Ayan siya. Actually, wala naman siyang coverage. Parang pinaprevent niya lang or tinatanggal niya lang yung oily na sa face ko. So, I also put this in my bag together with this one. So, lagi ko itong dala. Ayan siya. Meron siyang mirror na kasama and then may puff dito pero I barely or I, I've never used the puff. Pero nialagay ko lang siya dito in case na kunwari nakalimutan ko to or nawala ko siya. I still have a puff to use this with. So, maganda dito kasi may cover din yung powder niya. So, yun. You just open it up and the powder is here. Parang translucent lang siya. So, okay lang siya with any skin tone. Ayan siya. Yun yun. So, nagwawala lang siya. And it helps with my oiliness talaga. So, ayun. Pag feeling ko super oily na ako, nag-retouch lang ako nito and then okay na ulit. And then for concealer, this is not a surprise to me already. This is the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer, I believe, in the shade C17. So, hindi na nga surprise to sa akin kasi I know I'm gonna love this because a lot have been raving about this already. And I was so, so happy to finally got, finally get this one ng nag state sa ko. And I'm so sad lang kasi nasira yung top part niya. But anyway, I've been loving this so much. And if you're looking for a concealer na I mean, may budget naman kayo kasi this is kinda expensive mga 20 something dollars ata siya. Wala pa siya dito sa Philippines. I mean, di ba may Jeffree Star na dito pero hindi pa nila to kinikater. So, check nyo na lang sa mga reseller. Hanap na lang kayo ng pinakamura na nagre-resell nito. Maganda to for under eyes and also for the pimples or mga pimple marks nyo kasi sobrang ganda ng coverage nito. It's super full coverage pero hindi siya heavy sa feeling. I'm actually using it right now. And kahit super light lang ng, kasi skin tint lang yung ginagamit ko sa face ko most of the time. Pero with this one, sobrang ganda. Parang hindi skin tint yung gamit ko kasi um, it gives that coverage that I need pero super lightweight na lang sa feeling. Then for the brows, I have this one. This is the Gun Doll Volumizing Brow Gel from Vice Cosmetics and this is in the shade Light Brown. And the reason that I love this is not because of the color kasi I feel like wala naman siyang masyadong color payoff. Tingnan nyo. Hindi siya masyadong nagko-color sa lashes ay sa brows ko. Kaya feeling ko Nung, nung blonde ako, hindi ko siya masyadong nagagamit. I mean, nagagamit ko siya, pero kailangan ko super light talaga nung 
brow product na gagamitin ko para mag-complement siya sa hair ko. Pero now, I don't need to do that anymore. Parang kahit ito lang, okay na. Kasi, this has volumizing thing. Meron siyang mga fiber-fiber. So, yung mga sparse areas, medyo nakocover niya, nafe-fill in niya. Kasi nga, medyo kumakapal yung hair strands ng eyebrows ko. So, if you like that, yung medyo makapal yung brows nyo, you can try this one out. And also, if you have very little brows, I mean, super nipis ng brows nyo, super thin, and, and if gusto nyo kumapal with the use of makeup, then try this one out because it really works and it's also affordable. Then for bronzer, I have this Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is the shade bronzer lang. And I know I'm super late with this one. As in, super hype to mga few years back already. Pero, hindi ko talaga siya binibili. Kasi for me, it's so expensive for bronzer. And hindi ako masyadong nag-bronzer before. And oh my god, super bango niya. As in, ayan siya. I've been loving this so much. And, nagko-contour ako. And then, naglalagay ako ng bronzer after. And then, for lip balm, this is what I use. This is the Aqua for Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy. Actually, this is not a lip balm. Mukha lang siyang lip balm kasi ganito yung tube niya. Pero, meron siyang malaking ganon. Tapos, may super laki pa. Pero, this one is for dry, irritated, cracked skin. So, super ganda nito sa lips. And also, pag may mga dryness kayo around your hands, elbows, just like me. This one is really nice. Especially pag nasa malamig kayo na places. Kasi here sa Philippines, hindi naman super nagiging dry or crack. Cracky. Tama ba? Basta hindi super nagiging dry yung lips ko. So, if kayo super nagdadry yung lips nyo, then this one is really nice. Kasi ointment siya. Pero yung texture niya, parang balm lang. So, hindi siya pangit sa pakiramdam. Ayan. Actually, hindi nyo nga makita kasi clear lang siya. And hindi siya oily, hindi din siya malagkit. So, feeling that's why I like this one. Then, another one for the lips is this Mersey Bite the Beat Mellow Tint. I know, sinabi ko to sa Best of Makeup 2019. Pero, yun yung other Mersey na tint. So, this one is the new one. Binanggit ko din yun sa video. But, I love this so much. This is the M3 Spice Brick. And super velvety niya. Ayun yung ginagamit ko sa lips ko. And most of the time, yun yung ginagamit ko. Ayan siya. Super ganda ng shade. Actually, apat pa lang ating shades nila nito. And medyo brownie to dark yung color nila. So, I'll be putting the picture here ng mga other products nila. Pero super nice na. You can also blend it. And you can use it also as a blush kasi hindi siya super dry. Pag nag-set, it's velvety. And, pero yung finish niya, matte. Ayan, I'm wearing it on my lips right now and I love it so much. And you can get this from my Carrie's shop. Actually, I'm talking to them right now to have a discount for you guys. So, I feel like there's gonna be this tint plus a Mersey mascara. Pero... I'm not sure pa kung matutuloy siya or kung kailan siya. So, if ever na matuloy siya, I would be putting the details right now. Another one for the lips. Pag kunwari medyo dry yung lips ko and I feel like I want glossy lips, this is what I use. This is the color pop, just a tint in the shade Gimme S'more. So, ito siya. Ayan yung color niya. Super nude lang niya. That's why I like it. Kasi even though it's nude, it still shows up sa lips ko na hindi ako mukhang maputla or parang may sakit. And it gives that right amount of glossiness sa lips ko. And it's not super irritating na pag ginanan ka, super lakit. Hindi siya ganun. Pero it has that glossy look. Pero not glossy feel. So, yun yung gusto ko. Ayoko kasi na super lagkit yung nasa lips ko. Although, yung longevity nito, super baba lang. Kasi, super bilis niya matanggal. Siguro kasi, balm lang yung um, parang finish niya. Hindi siya, hindi siya long lasting, in a sense. Kasi, tint lang siya na lip balm. Parang ganun. The next one is this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Super fine ng mist nito, guys. As in, super, super fine. So, if you're planning to get this one, 
go get this one. And if you're looking for a really nice setting mist, sobrang ganda nito kasi super fine ng mist niya. It um, helps the makeup stay longer as in super ganda niya. Mas gusto, meron ako ng Urban Decay before pero I feel like mas nagustuhan ko to. I know super hype ng Urban Decay na all nighter setting spray pero ito hands down mas mura tapos mas fine yung mist and wala siyang amoy kasi yung Urban Decay for me may amoy siya kaya I never repurchased it anymore. So ayan I really love this so much. And then the last one is this Cream Silk Standout Straight Leave-On Cream. So I've been looking for a leave-on cream na maliit lang. Like yung ganito lang kaliit na ilalagay ko lang sa bag ko. Kasi um, as you can see I have um, colored hair. Well actually binali ko ng blonde ako kasi nung blonde ko, nung blonde ako super freezy ng hair ko and I always need to put something on it para hindi siya magmukhang freezy or dry. So, this is what I use. And may tendency kasi yung hair ko na magkulot siya. Kasi, I really have curly hair. Well, actually, wavy yung hair ko. So, when I whenever I use this, I try to parang straighten it up para hindi sobrang buhaghag ng hair ko. So, if you're looking for something like that, this is really nice. And I think wala tong sulfate. Kaya, binili ko siya. Okay, wala akong nakikita ng sulfate. So, okay siya for colored hair. Pero now, as you can see, medyo obviously, nag-darker hair na ako and ayan, gray siya. So, okay lang naman siya. That's why I like it. Actually, paubos na to. Siguro mga andito na lang yung laman niya kasi nung nasa states ako, palagi ko tong ginagamit. Actually, that is basically it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to click the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button right beside it so that you will be notified every time that I post and God bless.